All right, we good. Hold on. Can you check? Shalom all. We the Hebrew Israelites. We come in week in, week out to prophesy the downfall of this wicked ass kingdom. But before we get started, we want to give all praise, glory, and honor to Yahweh, 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 Double honors to the elder apostles, the elder of the great millstone, as GMS. Peace and blessed to the occupant of you, Aquas, across the four winds. Yeah, another day in Babylon. We just did a pre camp earlier about being vexed. We're vexed with the filthy conversation. When you go to conversation, it's behavior, right. the behavior of this wicked ass kingdom. So, through the precepts, you know, Lord willing, it's edifying. All right, this is uh, Revelation 19 and verse 10. It says, And I fell at his feet to worship him. And he said unto me, See thou do it not. I am thy fellow servant and of thy brethren that have the testimony of Yahweh Shai. Okay, this is John the Revelator. Okay, and he, uh, him is the other uh, angel. He fell at the angel's feet. Okay, because the angel was, was giving him uh, visions of what's to come. It says, for the testimony of Yahweh Shai is the spirit of prophecy. Okay, that's the this is the, the, the big the big thing. Like I said, Isaiah thirty four and sixteen. You can't make this book with any other book because it's all about prophecy, man. Okay, things that are are, are said to, that uh that are foretold to happen before they happen. Okay. So we are coming in the spirit of Yahweh Shai, which is the spirit of prophecy. So we want to prophesy the downfall of this wicked kingdom. Which prophesied means to say before when you break down the word. Uh, this is Jeremiah chapter 28 and verse 8. The prophets that have been before me and before thee of old prophesied both against many countries and against great kingdoms of war and of evil and of pestilence. So the prophets that have been before, which if you believe in reincarnation, we believe that we are the prophets that were before prophesying downfall of the, those previous kingdoms. So we're back in the reincarnation to prophesy the downfall of this kingdom. That's right. Yeah. Yeah, if I can add real quick, I and I like that Jeremiah 28 chapter when you read the whole chapter in this context, because when he said the prophets that have been before me and before the of old, right? There was this, this false prophet named Hananiah. And he came up in a temple in front of everybody. Uh, Some of these other camps, y'all talking about prosperity, right? Pro uh, 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 getting money, getting schools and congregations. The real prophets will be sent to prophesy against this world, man, against the people in the world, to be an offense to this world. And just like uh, Lot, it said he, he spoke against the world, you know. But the same thing right here, that's our job, man. You got it, Doc. And uh, I want to grab this pretty good, right? Verse 9 going into what's uh, exactly what the brother's speaking on about these called prophets. This verse 9, Jeremiah 28 and verse 9, the prophets was prophesied of peace. When the word of the prophet shall come to pass, then shall, then shall the prophet be known that Yahweh, by Hashem Yahweh Shah, had truly sent them. And he's going into what the brother was saying, man. Yeah. In the last days, you will know, and we will know, and we will find out. Once Jacob trouble come, who the real prophets of the Lord are. Those that's pushing the truth. That's not uh, being a respecter of persons. We're not trying to spare your feelings. The right scripture. Uh, verse 9. Uh, Jeremiah 28, verse 9. The prophet which prophesied of peace. In order to get peace, war has to come about. 
So after war, then we'll we have peace because Yahweh Shah is going to come through and grab all of the crowns and give them back, you know, the righteous ownership to the Israelites, which is so called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. And it reads When the word of the prophecy shall come to pass, then shall the prophet be known that Yahweh Shah had truly sent him. Uh, I think it's uh, Jeremiah 3 and 15, I believe. Yeah. Yeah, Back what we're about. Yeah. It's uh, Jeremiah 3 and verse 15. It says, And I will give you pastors according to my heart, which shall feed you with knowledge and understanding. So the Lord, Yahweh Shemi Shai, is going to give you the correct, the correct men that's going to bring forth this truth. To bring forth this truth. He ordained us to prophesy. He speaks through us, as the scripture has said. Yeah. Um, yeah. yeah. And so we're here to feed you with the wisdom, knowledge, and understanding. You know, break down these scriptures, you know, to the simplest form. And then the hope we make will be waking up. And it's not our words. These are the words of Yahweh by Shimei And we're going to constantly push that name of Yahweh by Shimei until Yahweh Shai comes to redeem us. Which Yahweh Shah's name means he is salvation. He's our savior. He's our redeemer. Through whom? Yahweh. He is, he's what? He's the father of spirits. He's the ancient of days. That's our only true power. Right. Now, if I can add, like we said, we're talking about the, the false uh, prophets, okay? Because they're giving you false hope, man. Okay, they're not giving you, uh, well, thus says the Lord, man. They're giving you their feelings on what they think. Okay, like you, you look at the, the you go on the Harley house, these pastors, they teach their prosperity uh, uh, doctrine, okay? To continue here, the scriptures say, "Arising the point, this ain't your rest, man." Okay, and we talk about Israel, so-called Negro, Latino, and Native Americans. Okay, but you even got uh, guys that set up well camps out here that also teach you to dwell here. Okay, they want to uh, they want to build a uh, build a nation. Okay, this ain't our rest, man. We we supposed to be in a, in, in a mindset of, of of pilgrims. Okay, we got to be here. Okay, for 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 a minute, but our mindset is uh, we're looking for a new kingdom and a new heaven, man. Okay, not uh, uh, trying to dwell here, but like like the scripture say, he gonna give you passes according to his heart. Okay, the Most High is a man of war, man. This right. war attack is going on right now, man. Okay, this is the kingdom that's being destroyed right now, man, and a new kingdom is coming. Right, right. You got they got the Israelite communities. You know what I'm saying? It, it's it's all good and fine, but it's at the top of that, man. And right. Yeah, you still got the uh, wicked and rulership. You know, you still got to go through Esau. You know. So what, your, your garbage man driving with fridges on, man? Right. The, the mailman got fridges on his mailbag. You know, what, what, come on, man. Right. You know? You still got to go to work. You still got to pay taxes. You still wake up with a back aches, body aches. Okay? This ain't our rest, man. Okay, we're looking for the new bodies, man. The new heaven, the new earth, man. Right. Way in dwelling righteousness. We, we vex, like the brother had started off with, we vex with the conversation, the behavior around us, man. You got moles. Got more freedom than the regular man, the uh, average man. You see? No, man, this, we don't want this. Okay? Yeah, yeah. You mentioned uh, how Moses got more freedom than the actual man. You got these transformer men who turn into women. They got more freedom and rights than women. Uh, and look, you, hey, woman of the year is, is a man, uh, a transformer. Right. Woman of the year. Right. Come on, man. Oh, uh, the, um, you know, the USA pageant and shit. Men been winning that shit. I've been saying that high schools, uh, homecoming queen, it's, it's transformers, man. Right. Uh, the Secretary of Health in the United States is a transformer. Uh, okay. How does that sound, man? Yeah. What logic is that? You know, that's vexing. <laughs> and uh, I believe uh, Kim Kardashian, she's on the front of uh, GQ. Yeah. Like they're, 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 that's why we're vexed with the filthy conversation of this place. Because how are you going to have someone that's surgically, surgically made up, you know, it's considered one of the most attractive women, but if she didn't have all those surgeries, then what? But now she's posing as a man on the cover and pushing forth this vibration. That's why we continue to prophesy the downfall of this wicked kingdom. Right. Or shall I say queendom? Because when you go into the word queen, you know, it's a uh, whore prostitute. This is the great whore. It's Babylon. You know, it's a place of confusion. This is 1 Thessalonians chapter 5 in 
verse 3, for when they shall say peace and safety, then sudden destruction cometh upon them, as travail upon a woman with child, and they shall not escape. And laying back and off what the brothers are going into, that's the mindset and the characteristics of the people here today. You know, they actually think that this is going to be uh, the continuation on how it is. The comfort that you, you have in this life, in this time, they actually think that it's going to continue like that. But, like I said, as travail cometh upon a woman, whenever it's time to give forth to the child, whenever that water breaks and then contraction starts coming, it's all of a sudden, it's unexpected. You know, you can't time it, you can't plan it. And it says, and there's no escape. So whenever that time comes, there's nothing, it's too late. You know, just like in the days of Noah. Whenever the rain came, it was too late. You can't, you can't enter into the ark. But the next verse, it says, but ye brethren are not in darkness, that that day should overtake you as a thief. And going back to what the brother brought out, you know, the prophets of old prophesied of what? That's what we take heed to. It's not a time of peace and safety. Destruction is coming to America. Destruction is coming. So that's the mindset to have, as the rock, as the rock of said, having the mindset of a pilgrim upon this earth. That word pilgrim goes into a traveler seeking a holy place. So th this, what is going on right now, don't, don't let it deceive you, man. It's a time to actually be ready to depart and not have any anchors or attachments that can weigh, that can weigh you down on this side, man. You know, it's time to depart. But that time that he's speaking of is Jacob's trouble. Yeah, it's gonna be a troubled time for you so-called, you know, Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, you Israelites, but it's gonna be hell for everybody upon earth. Right now everybody's in a cool, calm state, but we actually in the beginning. I don't even want to say the beginning stage, but we're getting to the, the, the climax of war right now as they gather in the Valley of Jehoshaphat, which is uh, so-called Middle East. You know, Yahweh's judgment. That's what Jehoshaphat means. That's what Yahweh's going to judge a lot of people. What people here think is just all cool and calm and collective. And like the brother brought out in the scripture, the sudden destruction is going to come. Just like when, when y'all rolled y'all sleeves up and took that snake for it. Right. What happened? Sudden destruction came. Why? Because you're leaning on this wicked ass society instead of leaning on your how by Shimmy I was shot. This is this is second Ezra chapter 16 in verse 40. Oh my people, hear my word, make you ready to the battle, and in those evils be even as pilgrims upon the earth. Oh, you got Yes, I'll read it again. Second Ezra chapter 16 and 40. Oh, my people, hear my word. Make you ready to the battle, and in those evils be even as pilgrims upon the earth. So they say it's the meaning to make ready for the battle. All right. The man to get your house in order in this truth. The battle is the flesh against the spirit. That's where it starts within you. Battle starts within you and then it goes external. It begins internally. You must first learn to master yourself. You are your biggest enemy in this world. That's right. All right. So your your, your viewpoints, your perspective, your your uh your mindset, everything, it comes from how you think. All right. And if your thinking is not according to this. You're going you to go off. So this is our preparation for this battle. All right? Because as the brother just read, the evils are coming. Right. Read that again, man. Second Ezra 16 and 40. Oh, my people, hear my word. Make you ready to the battle. Make you ready to the battle. Go ahead. And in those evils. And in those evils. All right? It's talking about the time of Jacob's trouble. Yes. I mean, we can see it. It's in the distance. You can see it. All right. We, we've been knowing it was coming, but we couldn't see it. Now it's coming across the horizon. We see it. It's approaching. All right. You know? It's like that sailor got that, got that scope thing. Oh, man. You know? We can see Jacob's trouble. Right. It's coming from evil. All right? Evil means bad times. Right. So even in those evils, 
be as pilgrims. Go ahead. Be even as pilgrims upon the earth. Right, upon the earth. Why? We, here we have no continuing city. Right. This is not our rest. Nowhere on this earth is our rest. In this, in this world. All right? In this age. With this place. All right, we're we're uh, disenfranchised. Right. We are no people because we don't have a land. All right, but spiritually, we are we are a people. The Lord is raising up Zion. All right, but here in this age, you can say, "Oh, fuck America! I'm going back to Africa." Because Africa, you know, that ain't our homeland. But you don't find the same hell that you try to escape from here in America. Oh, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go to uh, Australia. You can go, and you are gonna find the same hell that you tried to escape from in America, in Australia. And guess what? You might miss your 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 uh, salvation right. over in Australia right. or in Africa. You say, "Well, I'm gonna go. Well, I'm gonna get completely off the grid. Go to the wilderness. And then they'll bat your ass up. You're not gonna. You're not gonna get away." So right. we might as well dig in, ten toes down, and swing. He is built. Right. All right? So there's nowhere to escape. We got to get out of this age, this world. Right. All right? It's going to take you how we shot to fix this shit for us. You got it. Y'all got it. I got a quick reset for the elder. This is uh, Hebrews uh, chapter 13, verse uh, 14. It says, for here, we have no continuing city. Right, right. here in this, in this world, all right? In this entire world, or this age, all right? This is Esau's title. Right, right. Most I gave Esau a slot in the position, and this is it. The position is at the head. His time is now. But guess what? His time is running out. Quickly. So he's just about out of time. Then we go. The, the age of righteousness is going to be ushered in by your house shot. We go anywhere in this world we want to go here. Right. We're going to find peace, glory, you know, uh, everything, fame, fortune. Right. It's, it's us. Right. But right now, we got to go through it. Go ahead, right? It says, For here we have no continuing city, but we seek one to come. Yeah, that's Hebrews, uh, no. 13. 13. Yeah. And 14. Oh, yeah. Come right. on. And, and that was the point the elder was going into. You know, how how here in this, this land, man, we're, we're just constantly being attacked. We're, we're at war. You know, we're behind enemy lines. You know, so it's in the preparation of this gospel, this truth, okay, that we're being armed, you know, as, as the book of uh, Ephesians goes into, you know, putting on that whole armor, you know. To where we can stay in the wilds of the devil, you know, to where we can, uh, uh, when, when that bear and that snake and that lion and uh, what is spoken of in the book of Amos, when all those things happen, man, we're already prepared, you know, through the spirit. But you got it, God, yeah, I got one. Just going off that rest. This is a uh, Micah 2 and 10. It says, Arise ye and depart, for this is not your rest. Been here in Babylon the Great, or the virgin daughter of Babylon, this is not our rest. Can't get no sleep. Even when you do get sleep, you still feel like you don't get no rest. Why is that? Because we're still under those curses. Those curses are, are weighing heavy upon us. Right. And that's why we need you have a shot, our position, right. to come heal us, to come save us. Right. Yeah, we don't get no sleep because we're in captivity. We're slaves. Right. The rest is when you in rulership. Right. right. Tell motherfucker. Right. Get your ass out right. there and go do this. Right. 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 Uh, right. Get your ass out there. You get rough with them. You know, right. Uh, you get, you get, yeah, but we, we even going to have taskmasters, yep. you know. Ham, uh, some of them Hamite tribes going to be taskmasters over Esau, you know. So we'll tell Ham, you know, we might kick Ham in the ass. Just when they get out there, we'll tell them might cut their field, you know. What watermelons, man, need to come up out their, out their field? Right. All that good shit. That's how, you, that's how you rest. You tell motherfuckers what to do. Right. You see? Now we don't want to get told what to do. That's why this is not our rest. All right? We got to get up, go to work in the morning. Right. My mother might have to work tonight. Uh, right. You know? 
and you right back at it tomorrow. My folks talking about, I got, I got two weeks vacation, three weeks, three weeks vacation. You look around a week, go like that. Right. And you over in goddamn Cancun having the time of your life. You don't want to come back to this shit. Right. So why even put yourself through that? I mean, you get away for a little bit, but that's a tease to me. That's right. I don't want to just go somewhere for a second. Yeah, a month. Give me a full month. Then I come back and don't have to go right back to work. Right. We go by like a, a day. So, yeah, there's no rest here, man. But most of I'm making sure that you got time on crack. Right. Time is speeding up. Right. But it's been sped up. You know, and there's wickedness everywhere you look. Right. There's places to buy. Right. You know, so it's right there. You vexed every day. You don't get no rest. You gotta look at shit every day. You like, you know, that that wears like, well, here and there. That's okay, but every day, all day, that wears on. But we had these scriptures to comfort us. Right. That's that's the importance of reading. All right. Uh, Romans 15 and 4. Well, go ahead, brother. Hey, and if I can add two on that rest, even with like the celebrities, okay? They, hey, they, a lot of them, they, they die in debt. Okay? Even like, uh, like for example, uh, Bill Cosby. They've been the slaves than we are. Right. Uh, the more money you get, the more you saw one, two, three. Right. 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 Go ahead, brother. Right, but it's still no rest. Even with the way that they got things set up, it's no rest. You see, yeah, but the, but that's us. We we this is not our rest, man. As the scripture saying, arise ye in the party. Talking about Jake. This ain't your rest. Hey, you said that. Then your ass is next. Right. Right. Hey, hey, yeah. 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 Right. I've been I've been right. looking for this for about six seven months now. I've been heard, you know, these elites they just destroy hip hop. And Diddy was going down because Diddy is instrumental. He's a key figure. Yeah. Going back to the nineties, you know how many hits. Came out of bad boy, right? You right. know, I mean, you, you had the whole. He was in the mix of that whole East Coast, West Coast right. shit. Right. Did right. that uh, instrumental, a key figure in a lot of shit for the yeah. last thirty some years. Right. And now that they at least do with hip hop, and they serve this purpose. Right. And if they need some rap, somebody to rap, they got Eminem. Right. They ain't gonna pay these niggas all. That's why these niggas ain't making money no more. Right. That era was the. the Late 90s going into the 2000s, the Lil Wayne, Baby Era, and the Drake, and now they, they cutting that shit. The niggas ain't getting money like that no more. They got to do shows and try to scream. You saw them in 360, that's all. That's the only deal that you can get. But yeah, bro, I just, you, you, you just said that, but you did it because you be next. Uh, yeah, that's what all them celebrities man. I mean, you. But I was just speaking on what Ed was saying. Uh, you know, I just, we're looking at all of it. Rick Ross and uh, Big Neil just dropped an album. Right. And it dropped so bad. Right. right. Check, check, go. And these right. one time was one of the two as hot as all the other places. Right. And they fine, you know. Right. But it just told me what they're saying. It's done. It's done. Right. It means it should be brought right. low. The strip say that also. Right. So it's, it's done, man. This place is done. I don't know if y'all heard, they've been buying up major catalogs. So I mean, oh, yeah. So yep. so they, all this shit going to the middle first. They didn't pay right. Yeah. They didn't pay the this. We, we saw taking this to a new era. Mm. Y'all have to understand, man, we going into a new time. It's a new phase that we're going in. We saw want to take everybody from the natural into cyber. Mm. Right. Cyber world. The analog you know? to the digital. Right. Uh, that makes sense because I was on uh, Spotify and I was listening to music and sometimes when I can't find music, I just click on different like mixes or different mixes. So I'm scrolling, I'm swiping and I stopped and I was like, an AI DJ. I was like, yeah. they have AI DJ. Right. Not only that, but you also have AI music. Like they have a song, there's plenty of artists, but the first song I heard was a Drake song. I really thought it was Drake, but it was actually AI. Right. Like the brother said, they're going from analog to digital. Which all ultimately all roads is going to lead to what the microcarotid, that little grain of rice that's going to go into your skin, right? So that you can buy a cell. 
that's where everything is gradually going right. to. Hey, did you, uh, didn't he just drop last night? Yeah. Drake, Drake, or tonight? Um, that I don't know, but I do know Jake, Drake and J. Cole is going on tour together, so they trying to hold on to these little hip hop prophets as long as they can. You know? And uh, Andre 3000, he, he got an album coming out, he just, it might be out, he just playing the flute. Oh yeah, right. Right. Somebody said, "Hip hop is done." I got to say, Nas said back what, 10, 15, 20 years oh, ago, yeah. hip hop is dead. Right, oh, yeah. About twenty years ago, right, right. He right. must right. be, a, he must be a prophet. <laughs> that shit is dead. Right, right, right. Yeah. It, if I could, real quick, go back to the point about the AI. You know, he has been doing this for a long time, going into gradualism, and, and even with the computers. All of that was, was being invented or, or created just to absorb the mentality of the people. And, and that's where he started building those uh, uh, quantum computers and uh, the IBM you know, uh, computers. All of that has been something that Esau's been using in the backdrop because he's going to turn all of that data you know, against Jake, man, in, in, in a form of control and enticing you to do the things that you don't want to do. You know, and, and if you don't have this truth, if you don't have this protection, if y'all by Shami I'm shot, man, hey, hey, you're gonna be got, you know, by your own thoughts, by your own devices. Because because you're gonna put them, either you're gonna speak them, or the, the Wi-Fi is gonna pick them up, or or you're gonna be talking to a friend, and all of these these uh, uh 5G towers and, and 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 this whole internet of things and internet of systems and internet of people as a, a brother's going into uh, uh the Karagma being be instituted. All of these things Esau has been doing as a form of war. Okay, is a form of strategy. Okay, but uh, I just wanted to make that quick point there, and then the land back off what the brothers are going into how uh, Babylon in itself, uh, all the uh, the enticements that wine, you know, all the things that were once uh, the, the the hip hop, the rock and roll. You remember rock and roll was the thing. He saw it used to be able to uh, uh, throw. Uh, who, who was his name? Uh, uh, Kid. Uh, no, uh, Elvis Presley, oh, God. you know, Elvis Presley used to throw, you know, all of these guys out there to entice the people in, into that vibration. But, you know, the scripture I'm going to bring out, it's going to go into it. You can break it down, brother. This is Isaiah chapter 24 and verse 7. It says, the new wine morning, the wine languishing, all the merry hearted do sigh. Verse 8, the mirth of tabernacles ceases. The noise of them that rejoice is ended, and the joy of the heart ceases. Hey, that's going into the, like the brothers going into. We going into the music. Hey, the music is dying. It's dead. There's no more talent out here. People don't sing no more. Everything is AI generated. You had the auto tune movement. It's dead. He saw Edo. He's dying. Everything that he's pushing forward with his wine is, 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 is dying. Right. Even so like real quick. Like Motown and yeah. Jackson Five and yeah, yeah. all of that. Hey, that was the time where Esau could, could uh, absorb Jake's spirit to, to to use to guide, you know, and usher the people down further into more of that same song and, 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 and that wine and that philosophy. But none of that's happening anymore. When, when Esau in that tambourine or even religion in the churches, none of that shit, none of that that wine that was once. Uh, uh, causing our people to err and be drunken. Now, that doesn't mean that they still not a two thirds, but it just doesn't have that same potency. Because we got to we got to quantify that because this is going into the destruction of America, and it's talking about that joyous spirit. Mm -hmm. It's just dead. Now that goes into the music, but you got to explain that this is this is because when when America was up, everybody was dancing, you know, on the weekend and stuff. Get out and, you know, right. and there's still pockets of that. You still see that, but it's one, you know. So all the read that one more time. All of them, them instruments and stuff was instruments for, for, for joy, for for peace, banquet, and all of that. Right. But read it. Isaiah 24 and 7. The new wine morning, the vine languishing. All the merry hearted do sign. Everyone, you decide why? Because you make it fall apart at the scene. Right. You know, your kids ain't needed. Right. This ain't us no more. Right. All right. You got, you got the high upper class. Even Mike. They kids ain't needed. Right. You know, because of their life.
lifestyle. They making six figures. Right. Not, not low six figures. Hold up their six figures. They hurt. Mm -hmm. This is what this is talking about. All right? And and not just that, the whole spirit of America is, is in the toilet. Right. It's got a idiot.
Shimmy Al Shah hates all abominations, and I do mean all. It says religiously. They don't want us to push out the names of Yahweh by Shimmy Al Shah. That's why you have all these other Israelite groups that took the bag and they stopped using the name, or they're not using the name. That's why they take down brothers' videos. That's why they, they constantly snatch a brother's pages down. Brothers drop beautiful lessons, it's up for 30 seconds. Start watching the video in the middle of the video, they cut the video. They cut live live shows, brothers' live shows. It says ceremonially, it says to defile oneself, be defiled sexually by idolatry, ceremonially, to be regarded as unclean, to defile sexually, religiously, ceremonially, to pronounce unclean, declare unclean, ceremonially, to profane the most high's name. That's the that's the biggest thing, right? Right, right. here. Yeah, um, yeah, yeah. We got to back all of that. Yeah, in, in Revelation, what does it say? That this is where um, the Lord was was cut off. That's why they call it Exodus. But the Exodus, what is that? That's a cross, a mask. It's a massacre. Hey, you can walk through the woods, right? And, 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 and if I can, right. you know, hey, yeah. I, uh, read that definition again. Both it says uh, to pronounce unclean, declare unclean ceremonially. To profane the Most High's name, right? And, and see, these are the things that that make our people unclean, man. Right. Buying into these philosophies, you know, these wicked pagan holidays, you know, going to these haunted houses called churches, man, you know, Be because first of all, those prophets, it's like it, those false prophets haven't been sent by Yahweh by Shimon Shah, okay? So they're just spewing madness from their own heart and from their own belly. That, that's what makes our people unclean. And then they go and teach it, okay, to their children. Okay? Read it all because it said religiously. Go ahead. And I was going to say a quick point, too. When you look at that image, that's unclean to have leprosy. That's also a curse, but that's unclean. 
Right. Hey, hey, just let them choose wherever they're gonna walk, Akim. Yeah. Right, no, it ahead. says to be defiled, to be unclean, to be defiled. Right, to be defiled, right? Scripture says thou art drunk, but what? But not with wine, man. Okay? What are they drunk with? These philosophies, these idols. Okay? Because they make you stupid. They make you dumb, just like the idols. Okay? And, and that's what two thirds of our people are at. That and then this shit. Okay? Same thing. We've been from taboo. Giving praise to Simon Rem. That, that's what's going into these, these next quote unquote pagan holidays, right? Glorifying uh, Esau for, for killing our our our, 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 big, our, our brothers, right. okay? Uh, 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 Gad and Ruth, right. and really all the tribes, okay? But he's glorifying those things, man. Right. And that's how it's a pollute, okay? Because then now that person hears those things and then uh, they just act as if it's just something normal. Like, oh, well, you know, that's just what happened, and it's a part of history. It's like, no, it was done, okay, to create more of a slave for our people. Two, uh, matter of fact, if a brother can hold it, I was just going to grab one more real quick. Did you want to? Jeremiah uh, 17 and, and 4. This is uh, Jeremiah 17 and verse 4. And, and thou, even thyself, shall... Discontinue from shall thine, uh -huh. okay, thine inheritance thine heritage that I gave thee, and I will cause thee to serve thine enemies in the land which thou knowest not. Right. And so being discontinued from my heritage is serving these idols that, that are polluting our people, man. You know? Because as the brother was going into, this is a, this is a, a mark of leprosy, which is an unclean thing. Whereas Okay, we we out here to give our people the truth. Right. Uh, thus said the, the the holy scriptures, man. Right. Okay, to to where now you can be purified, you can be watched. Okay, for for those that actually have eyes to see and ears to hear. Okay, that was all I had on that. Be purified. I make a point on that. That's the brother was speaking on. Uh, that because you brought up the curses, right? We're to Deuteronomy 28 chapter, but that's speaking also serving other gods, that we will serve other gods, right? right. And Deuteronomy, uh, I believe, 28 and 64. But yep. I wanted to get that point from the uh, yep. elder, uh, the head on deck here. This is St. John 6 in verse 63. It is the spirit that quickeneth, the flesh properly is nothing, properly is nothing, the words. That I speak unto you, right? They are spirit and they are life, right? Okay. Uh, no, no, no. Uh, sanctify the truth. That word is truth. Okay. Right. Yeah, I mean, but, but even with that being said, you know, coming coming into this truth, hey. Hey, these words are going to give you life, you know, which is true. And it only comes from Yahweh Shah Mashiach. You're not, you're not going to continue to worship, okay, or, or serve this, this, this damn devil, man, you know? Scripture says it, it is the spirit that quickeneth, it, and what? Make it alive. The flesh profit it nothing. And that's what this society is feeding our people on a constant basis, which is another form of that wine, another form of sorcery. Another form of of, of, uh, of uh, pharmacia, okay? See, see, we think of pharmacia just as a, a, a chemical that, that Esau is baking up in the lab. Well, he has these think tanks, okay, that gives you uh, AI, that gives you a, a cell phone, that, that, that tra tracks and monitors everywhere you go, okay? That's a philosophy. That philosophy is, 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 is uh, referred to in the scriptures as a wine, okay? To do what? To make you staggered, to make you drunk, to where you don't come back to who you really are as a people, okay? And our heritage. You got it? You got it, Arch? This is St. John chapter 17 and verse 17. Sanctify them mm -hmm. through thy truth. So, uh, just a quick point on what the brother, well, when you was reading about the looted, 
All right, y'all was speaking on the brother was speaking about how you know these false religions that plantation Christianity, you know, all of these false ideologies, they pollute you. All right, because the only thing that can sanctify us because we were born into this field. The only thing that can sanctify us is what? Read it again. St. John 17 and 17. Sanctify them through thy truth. truth. Right. That's what's going to sanctify us. So you saying we don't know what the Lord name is, there's no sanctification in that. Uh, or you say you can call him anything. There's no sanctification in that. You say John the Baptist is a plate of fish. Wow. Don't give me the hot sauce. Ain't no sanctification in that. Or you want to say that we're going to let Esau go at the end of a thousand years and he's going to come back up and we're going to have to go to war with him. There's no sanctification in that. Because it's a lie. Those are lies. Babylon, we've been fed a goddamn diet of lies since we came out the womb. Right. We don't need no more lies. We need truth. Why? Because that's what sanctifies us. Read it again, now. <clears throat> St. John, chapter 17 and 17. Sanctify them through thy truth. Through thy truth will be sanctified. Go ahead. Thy word is truth. His word is truth. And as the brother read also, John 6 and 63, these words are spirit. So these very words are the spirit of truth, which is also the spirit of prophecy. All right? And that's, that's what cleanses us. So when you start perverting and changing the, the doctrine, right, you keep it safe. So, yeah, y'all got it. This is uh, Ephesians 5 and verse 26. It says that he might sanctify and cleanse it with the washing of the water by the word. So you get washed by the word like the hell was going into that's what makes you pure in this word. This word is pure. I believe that's in the book of Psalms. Right. Yeah. So, Yahweh by Shimei Shah, it cleanses your brain. We're brainwashed. When you wash something, you're doing what? You're cleansing. So we want to be washing the word that's true. I got this. This is uh, Psalms 119 and verse 9. It says, Wherewith, wherewith all shall a young man cleanse his way by taking heed thereto according to thy word. So when you take taking heed, you're listening. It's processing. Like what they say, it's food for thought. Like you're eating it up. That's why in the video it says, eat the whole road. So when you eat the whole road, you're able to be able to go prophesy. And you do have to, yeah, you have to be, uh, be clear. Like, like you said, processing it in. You say, processing it in. Okay, oh, I'm not a black man. Oh, I do have a heritage. Oh, the most high, that's our power. You know, you're cleansing yourself through the word, the truth. Yeah, no, that was it. Can you go to the Alright, this is uh, Psalms 119 and verse 104. It says, Through thy precepts I get understanding, therefore I hate every false way. So are you oh you gotta be like yeah, so like, right. So through the word, all right, or uh, through thy precepts. Going back to the you know law, statutes, commandments, or right, the uh, understanding of the how Bashim Okay, let's uh read that again. It says Psalms 119, verse 104. Through thy precepts I get understanding. Therefore, I hate every false way. Right, the false ways is just everything them brothers is uh, bringing out, you know, with the pollution of this world. Right, right. right. Uh, religion, okay. All the all of those false ways, okay. Once you come into this knowledge, you know, able to see that, right? You know, it says uh, verse one hundred five, "Thy word is a lamp unto my feet, and a light unto my path." Right. Thy word is a lamp unto to my feet. All right. Because prior to this, we was all being uh, walking in darkness. Right? right. All right. Being a part of this world, okay. Being spiritually dead, but now we got the light through the Holy Shot. Okay, through the word. You know, we know the correct path to walk now, man. Right. All right. That's how the scripture said, rise ye in the park. You know, 
not physically leaving this place, but started right here, man. All right, right. Okay. Go ahead. Verse uh, 106. I have sworn and now will perform it. Yeah, kind of. St. John 15 and 3. Now are now ye are clean through the word which I have spoken unto you. Break it down, bro. Now, you know, pretty simple. Just like the brother going to lose the word that cleanses you. The word is, you know, the scripture because the word is being a fire. You know, fire is a cleansing agent. So when his word makes you clean from the ways of the philosophy of Babylon, you know, you've been growing up eating pork. You hit a word, you, you cleanse through that. You know, you got to go. I got one real quick. This is uh, Psalm chapter 12, verse 6. It says, The words of the Lord are pure words, as silver tried in the furnace of the earth, purified seven times. You know? So, so when you think about purity, okay? I believe that goes back to uh, uh, to art, right? I believe. Yep. Yeah. Uh, so, so pure. Okay, you think of clean. Okay, and it said, I'm gonna read it again verbatim. It said, the words of the Lord are pure words. Another word for that is is holy. Okay, or separate. Okay, because if if they're the words of the world, then they're not going to change you. You're not going to repent. You're not going to put out those old ways. Okay? You're not going to be, uh, uh, as Scripture says, you're not going to have a, a, a contrite spirit. Okay? When these words purify you, you realize that we went off against Yahweh Shemi Awashah. We were disobedient. Okay? And now, in order to get back to Him, we have to what? Cleanse our ways through these words, through the precepts, to where we can actually follow the Lamb, whether so ever He goeth. And that's through this, these words, man. That's the light. Okay? That's true. All right? It says, the words of the Lord are pure words as silver tried in a furnace of the earth purified seven times. Now, you know, Esau used it for, for alcohol and things like that. They'll say, uh, what is it called? Distilled 10 oh, times. Yeah, yeah. Oh, 25 year barrel of, <laughs> you know, whiskey and all that kind of stuff. Now, imagine you how about you be out shine in his word, he purified them himself in a complete manner. It says seven times, purified seven times. Okay? So these words, they are spirit. They are life. They are truth. And that's the reason why our people don't want to come back to this light. Okay? Because it's going to do what? It's going to reprove their actions and their thoughts and their desires. When you read in uh, John 8 and 32, Scripture says, And ye shall know the truth, and the truth shall make you free. And this is a world of captivity, okay, that, that wants to see our people as slaves, that wants to see our people in, uh, in a non-rulership mentality, okay? This, this is what you see up here is order, okay? And this is a threat to this society because everything in this society is out of order. That, that's what these false gods do. That's what these idols do. They give you liberty to, to uh, 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 what does the scripture say? To where you make uh, your, your God is your, uh, is, is your belly, your own thoughts. When, when we already have a head, going back to the marriage, going back to uh, 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 the hopeful elect uh, 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 being reunited with Yahweh, uh, uh, Yahweh Shai. But if, you, if you're not purified by these words, how, how, how are you going to show up to the to the, to the uh, marriage piece? You're not. I mean, you, you ain't gonna have no garment on. Okay, you got to be equipped with that garment, and that garment comes through these these holy words, man. You know, being purified, being blameless. Okay, not not having any uh, uh as scripture says, uh, and it brother can hold it real quick. Uh, Romans the the eighth chapter, I believe, where it says. Uh, who can lay anything to the charge of the elect? I'm, I'm paraphrasing it. It's a lot of Because that's what these damn devils going to do. Persecution's going to come. You know? 
They're going to try to take all of your data that we had just talked about in AI. They're going to they're going to they're going to create a, a dummy profile of you saying all types of things that, that are against the truth. And then they, they're going to try to use those words to condemn our people. OK. Anybody got that real quick in Romans? Is it Romans 8 chapter? OK, you read it. Uh, Start thirty-three. Wherever it, uh, no, start at twenty-eight. This is Romans chapter eight and verse twenty-eight, and we know that all things work together for good to them that love the Most High. Yahweh Ba Shem Yahweh Shai. Right to them, because all people are not gonna love Yahweh Ba Shem Yahweh Shai. And, and what does the scripture say uh, about love? What is love? The keeping of the commandments. That's right. Okay, go ahead. To them who are called according to his purpose, right? For and, whom? And, and, and that's the hopeful elect. Okay, you don't see the uh, what are they called? The uh, micro heads, <laughs> you know, so uh, mi micro sombreros, whatever. You don't see them out here. They, they're not gonna prophesy, man, because they're not the people. Yeah, really. mm. That's it. There was, was. That's what rest of the yep, yep, yep. Go ahead. For whom he did foreknow, he also did predestinate. See, see, these are the things that, that these uh, churches, these, these holy houses, these, these uh, religions don't want to go into, which, which the brother was going into earlier, which is prophecy. Because it said, for knowledge, right? Read it from the top again. This is Romans 8 and 29. Yep. For whom he did foreknow. Foreknow, okay, that means before he knew. Right, Jeremiah 1 and 5. Go ahead. He also did predestinate. Predestinate. Another thing that happened before, that's why when the prophets of the Lord are out here telling you the things that Yahweh Shah said that were going to happen, they don't like hearing it because it's the truth. And they know that these things are going to happen because that's the same stead in which Yahweh Shah came in. Okay? Telling them the things that were going to happen before they happened. All right, go ahead. He also did predestinate to be conformed to the image of his son. Woo! See? Through through what? Through the through these scriptures, man. You know? Th those that, that actually are repentees. Okay? Those that are coming out of hurt my people, as the brother had talked about. Okay? It said that we will be what? Conformed to the image? Read that part again. He also did predestinate to be conformed to the image of his son, that he might be the firstborn among many brethren. Right, and, and when you go into that word image, it's just not an appearance. It's in character. It's in behavior. As the brother was talking about all holy conversation, right? So so these things are, are we talking about Yahweh Shah Mashiach. We talking about Jesus Christ, though, okay? We're talking about our Savior, the only Savior of the children of Israel, okay? There is no other gods, okay? They're all false gods, okay? This is the only one true power, all right? Read that part again. He also did predestinate to be conformed to the image of his son, that he might be the firstborn among many brethren. Right, go ahead. Moreover, whom he did predestinate, them also, them he also called, and whom he called, them he also justified, and whom he justified, them he also glorified. What shall we say? What shall we then say to the to these things? If the Most High be for us, who can be against us? Right, and see, and see, that's the confidence. That's the confidence. We went into that in a little bit in class uh, Wednesday. You know, that's that trust that we have. With trust of Yahweh by Shimei Shai. You know? So, 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 yeah, this is not our rest, but we have the comforter until we get our rest. You know, that's our hope. I want to say uh, uh, the elder went into that uh, earlier this week as well. You know? So, yeah, it doesn't matter what, what anybody says uh, against the prophets of the Lord. It doesn't matter what, what any of these people try to persecute the prophets of the Lord. Okay? And we're going to read the scripture, and then you got it, brother. Go ahead. Verse 32. He that spared not his own son, but delivered him up for us all, 
how shall he not with him also freely give us all things? Right. See, because this goes into the mysteries. And how those secrets, you know, have only been revealed unto the servants of prophets. Yep. Yeah, go. I think the brother will. But hey, hey, the point being here is this. These things, these, these things are, are only given unto his servants, the prophets. You know? Go ahead. Who shall lay anything to the charge of the Most High's elect? It is Yahweh that justifieth. Who is he? Oh, go ahead. Who is he that condemneth? It, it is Hamashiach that died, yea, rather, that is risen again, who is even at the right hand of Yahweh, who also maketh intercession for us. Woo. There it is. So, so when we talk about reading these words, these pure words, and embodying them and living by them and being contrite, we're doing that because there's going to be persecution. There's going to be these other heathen nations coming up against us. Okay? But as the scripture says, hey, hey, it doesn't matter what they try to bring up to uh, uh, Yahweh by Shemiah elect. There's no charge. Okay? That, that's being blameless. That's being made clean. There's no spots in your garments. Okay? That's, that's, that's you not uh, being someone to where the ministry can be blamed. You know? So I just wanted to go into that real quick. Y'all brothers got it. Isaiah 28. say train up a child in the way it should go so what do you what are you training him with the wisdom of the you know wisdom of the, the law statutes and commandments of this bible when you're doing that what happens you grieve your enemy he's mad that's right. why he cuts videos he don't want you to do that like the brother's going into it's holiday season right what happened when it's holiday season it, that's when the consumers increase that's why they're pushing more deals and more sales and things like that So, we when we want to grieve our enemy, that's what we were put here to do. The Lord, we brought out in uh, Jeremiah 3 and 15. We were ordained. The Lord set us up to prophesy the downfall of his uh, wicked uh, kingdom. Thank you. Deuteronomy 11 and 9. And he's... Yeah, Deuteronomy 11 and 19 is lucky. And ye shall teach them your children, speaking of them, when thou sittest in thine house, and when thou walkest by the way, when thou liest down, and when thou risest up. And, and thou shalt write them upon the doorpost of thine house and upon thy gates. God, so all day, every day, you know, no matter the time, you're supposed to teach your children in the way of the go. And then also what our elders do for us we're we're spiritually their children so what do they do they teach us and we got to keep carrying on the torch that they was uh given and we're walking in their path they said the uh the path of, of the right way to go you have to be taught by men as the scriptures say you can't just read the bible on its own and get the understanding 
That's why the scripture said, through thy precepts, you get understanding. How do you get the understanding? Being taught by a man of the Lord, not only that, but through these precepts, precept upon precept, line upon line, here a, the, here a little, there a little. And then more than willing, if, if the Lord is working with you, then you'll get the understanding. This is a Hebrews 3 and 13. It says, but exhort one another daily. What is called today, least any of you be hardened through the deceitfulness of sin. We're supposed to be exhorting each other, man, boosting each other up, man. Hey, man, right. we, got, we ain't got that much longer to go, man. Right. We just got to hang in there, man, and do it to the end, man. Okay, that's exhorting. That's, that's helping your brother, man. We all struggle. We all going through things, man. But we, hey, when you see your, your brother, okay, he did it. I can do it, too. That's how you exhort him. This is Jeremiah chapter 6 and verse 16. Thus saith Yahweh, by Shem Shai, stand ye in the ways and see and ask for the old path. Where is the good way? And walk therein. And ye shall find rest for your souls. But they said, we will not walk therein. Hey, and these, these, these old ways are the scriptures. We find out the ways of our forefathers. Right. The paths that they walk, the righteous men. Uh, uh, like in Sirach 44. Let us now remember those righteous men of old. Because th those ways were right. These new ways today. These, this is not the way. This is a, a what's the word we went to? Dysfunctional. Right. This way is not working. This is what what has been produced today has is darkness. We are in a land of great darkness. Matter of fact, I want to get that. Uh, Isaiah 9 is oh, like 16. Oh, oh, yeah. Oh, that brother's bringing that out. I, I got a quick one. This is uh, Proverbs chapter 14, verse 12. There is a way which seemeth right unto a man, but the end thereof are the ways of death. Read that one more time. Come on. This is Proverbs 14. Verse 12, there is a way which seemeth right unto a man, but the end thereof are the ways of death. So lean not onto your own understanding. When you do that, what? You're going to end up sinning. Then you end up going to be dead because the wages of sin is death. So you walk in the right ways or what? The law, statutes, and commandments of these scriptures. That's the only right way to walk. Right? right. For you Israelites, you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. You know what I'm saying? Well, yeah, just going back to uh, those old paths spoken of there, Jeremiah 6 and 16. You still got it? Right. Read that again one more time, Brother Pachai. This is Jeremiah chapter 6 and verse 16. Thus saith the Lord, Yahweh Ba'ashem Yahweh Shai, stand ye in the ways and see and ask for the old paths. Where is the good way? Right, and, and that's what we learned from the, from the apostles and elders. You know, that, that old path, which is really the, 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 the ways in which Yahweh, Yahweh Shai has already declared unto us. Uh, hold that in uh, Isaiah 46, I believe, or Jeremiah 46. And 10, where it says, declaring the end from the beginning. Um, but yeah, these, these old paths are, are what was hidden from my people, man. You know, righteousness. Okay? True. How to, how, to, how to deal amongst amongst our own brother, you know? The curses were that uh, uh, our eyes were going to be evil towards our brother, man, you know? So a part of these old paths not only include the name of Yahweh, Yahweh Shai, but it includes the, 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 the order of how to actually live in the kingdom of righteousness. Right. Now, we're not going to have that on this side until Yahweh Shai returns, but all of these things are in preparation. You know, because that that builds expectation. You know, every time you read the scriptures, you should have more hope. You should see prophecy being fulfilled. You know, knowing that that, that uh, our salvation is nearer than when we first believed. I, I know for, for myself, 
I, I've been seeing prophecies just popping off more and more and more. But when I first came into the truth, I, I, th I thought Lawrence would turn that same day. But it's still nearer than then. You know? Uh, finish that. Jeremiah chapter 6 and verse 16. Yep. Thus saith the Lord, Yahweh, by Shem, Yahweh, shine. Stand ye in the ways and see and ask for the old paths. And ask for them. From who? The prophets of the Lord. Okay? This, hey, this is the way. This is it. This is this is the altar. This is the sacrifice. Okay? This, 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 this is the gates, you know, towards salvation or truth of repentance. You know? Go ahead. Where is the good way? Woo. And walk therein. Right. And you shall find rest for your soul. So we had read earlier in Micah 2 and 10, this is not your rest. That's already been identified. Okay? Now we're telling you through the scriptures, where is your rest? Where is your comfort? Okay? Until we have that ultimate salvation. Okay? Was that it? Okay. But they said, we will not walk therein. Right. Two-thirds. They, hey, they, they just not going to get it. Okay? And the hell with them. All right? They don't want right. the Lord to return. You know, they want to stay here and be in oppression, you know, and get the leg cut off because of, of diabetes. They're going to they gonna eat up all this damn food for these pagan-ass customs and traditions. Right? And then, and then, and then years down the road, they're going to get, you know, their spleen cut out. They're going to have cancer. All of these things. Why? Because they're rebellious people, man. Okay? Stiff neck, sottish. Out, out of all the people on the face of the earth, you you look at Jake. Jake want to be a little kid forever, man. Yeah, really. Yeah, the world. Right. And and that's why when the brother had read in Sirach, was that thirty and three? Did you read in Sirach? Yeah. Read uh, uh uh read that one more time. Was that it? Okay. It's, it, it talked about how uh, uh, learning these, these ways of Yahweh Shimei Yahweh it grieveth the enemy. Why? Because you're being, uh, uh, you're putting off those old ways, man. It, say, it says, when I was a child, I thought as a child, you know? But when you come into this truth, you become a man, okay? Not not because of a, a physicality, but because of the truth. Yahweh Shai is an austere man, you know? Scripture says, uh, the righteous are bold as a lion. Okay, and that's the that's the, that's the last thing Esau expects. Esau expects for you to run uh, behind him. Hey, master, let me get a crumb off your table. You know, you, you got that. Yeah. Go ahead. Uh, Sirach thirty, or the book of Ecclesiastes thirty, thirty and eleven. Give him no liberty in his youth, and wink not at his folly. Start at the top. 30. 30, 30 and yep. 3. Yep, start at the top. Yep, just start at the top. Sirach 30 and 3. Yep. He that teaches. Nope, start at the top. Oh, push out. 30 and 1. Sirach 30 and 1. Yep. He that loved his son causes them off to feel the rod. The rod. And we're getting corrected right now by our big brother, Yahweh Shah Mashiach. Okay? Because that's what Jake needs. Correction. All right? We, we, we've been, well, not we, but our people have been way too lax in captivity. You know, having nothing but mirth and joy and folly, okay? All of those are snares unto our people. Our people need discipline. That rod of correction, you have something? Now, you know, based off what you're saying, it made me think of Romans 9, man. Right. All right, that's why the Lord is doing all this, is bring all the credit back to him, man. Because the, the world is getting punished through the Lord, judgments of the Lord, but the credit's going to all these other things, man. Mother Nature getting credit. Just random acts, karma, all this other bullshit, man. <laughs> all right? But that's why he set up the prophets first to come out. So when, it, when man, when the plagues and pestilence hit, hit, they're going to know, now. this is one true living power doing this. He said that those men warned us about this, man. All right? Y'all going to know the fear of the Lord, man. Cut. Cut. Uh, yeah. Cut. Ecclesiastes 30 and 1. Yep. He that loveth his son 
causing them all to feel the run. It's off, right? Correction, right? Often to be corrected, to go what? Back into these ways. To not go into your own way. Not to go into your own heart. What does the scripture talk about? It says the heart is, is, is desperately wicked. Okay? Who can know it? Because where, where are your thoughts coming from? This wicked ass society. Okay? That's why we got to have a standard. That standard is, is the rod of correction of these scriptures, man. Go ahead. That he may have joy of him in the end. Right. And and, and that's where, where Lord will, Yahweh, Yahweh, Shai, you know, it's going to say, uh, uh, well done, my good and faithful servant, man. Joy of him in the end. Why? Because it's going to take endurance. Okay? Two-thirds of our people, all they living for is the now, the quick, fast, and the hurry, the microwave society, okay? Fulfilling those lusts, that appetite, okay? Which is really just making you more weaker to the flesh, okay? Go ahead. Verse 2, he that chastises, chastises his son shall have joy in him. And yep. shall rejoice of him among his acquaintance. That's right. That's right. Because just like with your own son, you know, now Jake do it in, in sports. You know, you see your son, you know, score a touchdown. You're like, oh, yeah, that's my boy or whatever. But that's what Yahweh outside is doing when they see the prophets of the Lord out here glorifying his name. Telling our people to repent, to come out of her, my people. At least you be destroyed by her plagues. But in the end, it said he's gonna have joy, right? Go ahead, read that again. Verse two: He that chastises his son shall have joy in him, and shall rejoice of him among his acquaintance. That's right. Go ahead. He that teaches his son grieveth the enemy, and before his friends he shall rejoice of him. Right, because that's why uh, Yahweh shall pray for the elect in John the seventeenth chapter says i pray for them i pray not for the world you know and, 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 and these are the things in which uh, uh yahweh Shai is doing now man you know it's angels uh and camped around uh uh this, this whole camp man okay this is Ecclesiastes 30 and 3. God. He that teacheth his son graveth the enemy. I remember when I asked about the house just now. I'm coming here. You're talking about the, the, your son, the, the, the school he was going to, and they were, yeah. the, 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 you told him to be Clark Kent. He got to, mm -hmm. uh, um, just no, like, hey man, just keep the truth yeah, to himself. Basically, he was praying out. He was praying in front of the other kids, in front of the teachers. He was raising, raising his hands up to the most high. And he was speaking in Hebrew. Yeah. So the school was against him. They was they trying to get they coming at him telling him, first of all, because the name of the school was Jesus Christ University. So they had that vibration. Now just dealing with this scripture alone, Esau has no issue with that. He wants you pushing Jesus. He don't want no kids calling on the true name. Cut, man. Cut. So that's why I, he, that scripture was my I said that that's that's a true point. That made the point right there. These devils. They didn't like the fact he was teaching us all niggas. Them niggas are programmed by Esau anyway, but uh, uh, the fact that you were teaching your son about your how about Shimmy, how to shot, he's an Israelite, the truth, who right. his enemies are, right. that grieves Esau. Right. right. But Esau got these niggas, and primarily the black woman. I'm telling you, man, we always said it, that, that that's the agent of Esau, man. That's Esau's top lieutenant, the nigga woman. That's Esau's servant. Okay, he programmed her, he created her, he programmed her to destroy the young Israelite man. John. Okay, primarily Judah. You know what I'm saying? Because these black women are nothing but agents for fucking Esau. And it makes sense. Because what yeah. you said, now you look on the retrospect of it, you have the other thug, you know, young boys come up under that vibration, they're going to end up in the jail system. Or they, they don't, they end up in college. Either one of them is names Esau wants you to end up in, man. That's why it's grieving them, because what you're teaching them right. is not profitable towards his fucking machine, man. Well, of right? course, it's going against the grid. It's going against the grid. 
Right. And you teach your brothers, teach your sons, all your daughters mm -hmm. about the scriptures and who they are, who their enemies are, about how to live righteous. That grieves Esau. These devils, they don't want to see that. They don't like to see that. That's why they set up the whole system of getting the Israelite man out the house. Gun. See? Because if there's no father in the house, there'll be no order. So that's why, because if the fathers were in the house, a lot of these young jakes, right, wouldn't be in jail or be moles or, you know what I mean? They, they would be getting corrected. They'd be getting corrected. Done. See, because the whole system is in place to destroy Israel. But on, 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 the, on the flip side, it's the curses as well. Done. Deuteronomy 28, we understand. Done. Which he shall leave, you know, Jake is under the curses too. You know what I mean? But Esau, he fucking, uh, he helps He helps the curses. Right. He increases the curses. He furthers all affliction. Yeah, yeah. He well, that's in the that's scriptures. The scripture. Yeah, I'm, yep. I'm bringing yeah he right. furthers the affliction. That's what he's going to pay for. That's right. I mean, well, the Lord used him to afflict us anyway. Remember the scriptures say Esau is the Lord's, he's the minister of the Lord to do evil. Mm -hmm. But his ass is going to still get kicked. Go ahead, brother. Zechariah chapter 1. Verse 15, and I am very sore displeased with the heathen that are at ease. Yeah, Esau, they're at ease in this kingdom. You see what I'm saying? They're living good, man. They got the fatness of the land. Yep. You're looking on TV, and you see Esau living lavish and de decadent lifestyles. They live out in the nice areas. They live up in fucking the... You got Edomites that own whole islands to themselves. Right, right, God. Don't record. Hey, don't, don't, don't play my grenade. You understand? Cut. These Edomites, man, they live in they live in lavish, decadent. There it is. You see them, they come out here, they walk up and down the street, you see the Edomite walking with his woman, they be happy, smiling. You know what I mean? Right, gun. It says they don't I have a worry in the world. Right, gun. Zechariah 1 and 15. And I am very sore displeased with the heathen. That are at ease. That's right. These Edomites, they're at ease. The Lord is displeased with Esau. Look at this place, man. This kingdom is so wicked. We got a homeless problem here in America. Right. From here to fucking New York to California. Gun. Right? You see them passing in down, up in Dallas. They're all over the place. But the president uh -huh. is more concerned about getting the, the alphabet people rights. Now they got to have right. more rights. Right. They got to be more protected. But you got Americans on the street. Right, veterans, uh, even. Veterans? <laughs> Mother Evans that fought for this country. Right. Right? Right. Come home and you on the street. But you're going to tell me this is not a wicked kingdom, man. This is a wicked, evil kingdom, man. But the Lord is looking at it. That's why earlier in the video we read our Amos 9 and 8. The Lord is watching all this. Right? It's the eyes of the Lord are upon this place. That's right. Pursuing to Amos, right? Uh, what, Amos, the ninth chapter? That's right. The Lord is watching us, but it's just, he's just waiting on his time to do what he's going to do. The Lord is bound by his own word. He, It's going to happen sooner than you think. You know? Come on, man. That's not how much more worse can this place get? You got guys uh, talking about, oh, yeah, 10 years, we're going to set up some more school. The guys are working, man. It's like, right. well, we read that scripture earlier, too, right? And Matthew, like, uh, you shall know them by their fruits. Mm -hmm. You're going to know who the real servant of the Lord is, man. You're going to know who the real servants of the Lord are. All right? We ain't going to be no fucking 10 years oh, hell. from now. Hell no. Nah. These guys, Nate and them, oh, yeah, we're going to send them. We're going to get businesses. We're going to get uh, communities. Right. We're going to set this program up. We're gonna, them guys don't want to leave here. Right. That's right. They don't want to leave here. That's why they don't promise them. Cut. They don't, they don't want to leave here. They want to stay. But the Lord is like, man, the Lord said he's displeased with this place. God. He's about to destroy this place, man. The destruction that this place is going to get is going to be so bad. Yo, bro, even we ain't going to be. When the time actually come, and all you can pray for, man, is that you will be elect. That's it. That's, it. that's all you can pray for. Like, I mean, I mean, shit, none of us want to be a part of what's this place going to get. Oh, so that's why, it, well, you know. Uh, that's what the scripture says. What give diligence with that calling and election sure. So that's why you know we go hard with this truth. 
That's why we are here tonight. Huh. Right? Because we want to be saved. You know what I mean? We want to be saved. We want to get out of these, these bodies, man. Yeah. Bro, I'm tired of this body. That's right. You know, infirmities are just being worn down. It's this, you know what I mean? Right. The demons messing with your head. All kind of crazy spirits and thoughts. You know what I mean? Satan trying to make you doubt you. Y'all know right. the routine. Right. God. God. And then all, on top of that, we got to deal with these other demonic ass, wicked, evil people out here. Right. Right? We got to be here in this world. I think I look at like I see I got the uh, sign here, women today. We got to we have to endure that. Right. You know what I mean? Right. That's why them guys left the country, man. The passport broke. <laughs> so that's that's primarily America. Good. That's that right there is primarily in America. I mean, you got women in other parts of the, I know like 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 in Europe, the, you know England or England. Well, America came out of England. Over there in England, you know Great Britain. They push that shit heavy too. That's that's just like another version of of America. That's Babylon too. You no, know, that they 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 push that mo shit. Uh, them women over there in England are totally out of order. They just like the American woman, just with the British accent. Right. You know what I'm saying? You got the black woman over there too. Right. They're the same. Pretty much Britain and America. Remember, America came out of Britain. Right. You see, it was right. the child of Britain. So pretty much. Britain is the same Western mentality, the same thing, modern shit. They push the same, but that's why Britain and America have always been friends, right? You know what I'm saying? Because they push the same shit. So their revolution was bullshit. It was all yeah. bullshit. It was all about, it was about, it was all, it was all about a, a, a tribute and monies and, that's it. That's you know, right. mm -hmm. it, it was bullshit. The elites set that up too, because like, it was, but, but it was spiritual. Because this place, America, had to come into existence. So the Lord put the spirit on Esau for the colonists to break off. Them colonists, the majority of them, they you know they, they were really so-called fighting, fighting for freedom, so to speak. The, the people that, you know, like, you know, the, the armies, mm -hmm. like the regular so-called average colonists, they really felt that way, though. You know, the whole thing you talk, the, 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 um, the Boston Tea Party, no uh, taxation without representation. So, like the, the average colonist, you know, when it was still just the original thirteen colonies, they were feeling like they they were, they, which they, which realistically they were, right? They were living under like a tyrannical state from the king, right? Because they was like, well, look, we over here, we'll pay tribute, but I guess the tribute was too much. But then it was the remember George Washington, all, all them top guys. Those guys were all the leaders, man. Right. They were all the leaders. Right. Okay. They said, "Yeah, let's break off. Let's do this. Let's do that." You see what I'm saying? Let's break off. That's the form our own government, our own. You know, remember it's a thing called the theater of war. Oh yeah. You know what I mean? That's right. The elites, all the people, are just nothing but pawns. Like, like as if you playing there. If y'all know how to play chess, mm -hmm. you, you playing ch chess, you don't really care. You don't give a fuck about the pieces. You know, it's, okay? right. it's like a big, giant, life-size chess game. Right, right, right. You know right. what I mean? Right. But overall, Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shah is the chess master. So Esau is a pawn in his game. So this devil, he's he's, he's playing chess with, with, uh, with all of us, you know, the people right. on the planet. But then when you pan back the camera, so to speak, that he's he's just a pawn in the goddamn table. His damn self. He forgot about that. That's why the scripture in Obadiah it says, The pride of thine heart that have deceived thee. This devil really believes the most high got so he got Esau so through, he really believed he's gonna actually prevail. Right. Come, come on with it. Real quick. This is uh Proverbs chapter 21, verse 1. It says, The king's heart. Is in the hand of the Lord. That's right, the king. Who's the king? Who's the king of Babylon, Esau. Heart, which we know go back to the Hebrew word love, which means your mind. Right. Your spirit. The Lord is controlling this devil. Right. By way of the spiritual demon, Satan. Right. That's all Satan is nothing but an angel of the Lord on the on the left hand side. That's it. Or on the left hand side. Yep. <laughs> he's an angel of the Lord. He's a, he's one of them. Job 
and the sons of the Lord came before him, yep. Yep. and Satan came in also. Right. The spiritual demon Satan. Satan ain't gonna be destroyed. Right. Satan is gonna always be one of the Lord's angels. Right, right. right. He's one of right. the Lord's sons. Right. But the Lord is using him to do his job. Right. And as of now, the Lord is even using Satan to fuck with us. Right. That we may be tried. Right. So the Lord allows Satan to fuck with us because we gotta be tried. Hey, it's just like anything. You um um you wanna know if something's acceptable. It could be, okay, let's say. When you get a new car, you buy a new car, truck. You, you say, hey, okay, yo, okay, when you go to buy a car, truck, you go to the dealership, and you talk to the deal, you know, the dealer, the salesman, what you do? You say, okay, well, look, he's showing you the, 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 the he's showing you the vehicle, and you're looking, and I said, well, look, okay, uh, before I buy it, can I take it on a test run? Right. See how this, this baby run? You know what I'm saying? And they do, okay, yeah, they give you the keys, or the guy might come with you. No, he, he might give you. I just brought a truck, man. The dude here, man, he took a full spin there. You know? Right? Fine. Why are you doing that? Because you want to see how this this this, this motherfucker run. Yeah. You know, so you drive it, you know, you might go up and around. You know? Or you, you know, might jump on the highway. Yeah, you check the brakes. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Then you might jump on the highway and just, uh, uh, let me see what this motherfucker you got. Open it up. You know, open, yeah, yeah, come on, open it up. Right, you know, okay, right, okay, okay. Then you went back in, you know, yeah, okay, you know what, man, hey, I like it, I like the way it look, I like the way it look. Right. Let's go get this paperwork going. Right. Right? You, you accept know, the truck. Right. You know what the problem is? They, uh, the car, they used to kick the tires, too. Uh, oh, I do that. Side, yeah. I do that. Most high kicked us in our ass. Yeah, I do that. Yeah, yeah. No, I do that, too. Man. I, 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 I do that even yeah. now. You know, I would try to pick up, you know, I, I, even after I got the truck, I, I you know, you, you got to check your, your, your vehicle, man. I come out, man, I, I, I kick my tires to make sure they ain't going, you know, mm -hmm. make sure they sturdy, check them, yeah. make sure they ain't bald, you know, you check right. your thread. Mm -hmm. You know, you got to do all that, man. Right, right. And then the one thing you got to do, <laughs> which I got to do, you got to check your oil on a yeah. weekly basis. Yep. Check your fluids, your and make sure you got your antifreeze. You don't want the damn thing overheating and blow up your radiator. Done. Check your uh, uh, the motor oil, your transmission fluid, your power steering fluid. You dig? You got to look up under the truck, make sure there ain't nothing leaking. You know, you got to watch. Right. right. So that's so the Lord, you're examining it. So the Lord is doing that to us. The Lord is examining us. Right. You see? Done. So, this, uh, this, 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 this is back in Proverbs 21 and 1. The king's heart is in the hand of the Lord. As the rivers of water, he turneth it whithersoever he will. So, so yeah, Esau ain't doing nothing that Yahweh Shemiah Rashad hadn't already declared. Satan worked work for Yahweh Shemiah Rashad, and, 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 and that's the reason why, although we getting played, you know, and although we getting punished, okay, by Esau uh, uh, to a degree, you know, being oppressed, things of that sort it's also to to uh help us to repent you know to cry to Yahweh Shimei Rashad to seek him ten times more you know but but Esau ain't doing shit that hey hey th th these scriptures have it uh, 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 written before time you know it says verse two every man it's like it, every way of a man is right in his own eyes but the Lord Pondereth the hearts. Like your spirit. Your spirits. You understand? The Lord tries your heart. Right. And how did the Lord try you? By allowing Satan to mess with you mm -hmm. and allowing you to go through afflictions out here. Yep. You see what I'm saying? Cash out. <laughs> That's yeah. the Lord trying your heart. Remember, in a, um, you gotta, we're going to get to you in a minute, bro. We're going to get to you. What does it say in Zach? Uh, the, yeah, Zachariah. Right? Uh, and the third part will be tried in the furnace of affliction. That's it. Right? I will bring the third part through the fire. Right. We're going through that now. Oh, listen, oh, the, hey, man, uh, out here struggling, and there's truth. Well, that's not a good I'm going to use that word, struggling. Because you ain't supposed to be struggling. You just, enduring. Yeah, enduring. Fight. Yeah, that was a bad word. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> 
start struggling, you like, damn, the only way out. You like, man, this little thing right here is still fighting. It's still going for me. God, God. And that's what the most high you know. We saw we're really in the preliminary stages of the test. All right, leading up into the, the, the major test, all right, in man. Revelation 3 and 10, man. Man, all look, right. man, the scripture talk about, like, like I said, this, hey, man, real talk, okay, we catching hell. We catching hell. Like I said, we dealing with shit, brothers, that we enduring. And it's true, it's, it's a fight. Right. <laughs> you know right. what I mean? Like when we had uh, Pretty Rich say that, that's my, fuck him, it's a fight. <laughs> it's, like, it's like being in the ring, man. Right. You know what I mean? Right. When you in the ring, man, like, you know, I, y'all know I used to box. Mm-hmm. When you in that ring, man, when you in that circle, you and that man and the referee, the dude is throwing punches, man. You know what I mean? You wouldn't have been hit. You know what I'm saying? Which ain't pleasant to get hit. I don't give a fuck what nobody say. Mike Tyson will tell you that. Nobody likes to get hit. <laughs> but you learn to, you gotta learn to roll with punches. You learn your defense. You learn your footwork. It's, it's, it's three things you can do in boxing. But see, remember the Apostle Paul always, because um, people make like sports, he would use it as an right, analogy. Right, right, right. Time of the Greeks and all that. Yeah, boxing, there's three things you can do. Right. You can block, block you right. can slip, right. you can get out the way. Right. How do you get out the way? By pivoting. We call it pivot. Dude is coming at you, you pivot this way. And then he, and then he got to reset, then you pivot. That's called pivoting, mm-hmm. right? Get out the way, pivot out the fucking way, right? Pivot out the way, or block, or slip the punch. Slip, pivot, quack, you know what I mean? That's how you do it. So, that's this truth. Right. Satan come with them punches, you got to right. block, you got to slip, Get out the way. Like, yeah. You see what I'm saying? That's 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 what this that's what it's about. You see what I'm saying? It's a fight. Yeah. You know what I mean? They caught you before. Now you're good on it, man. Yeah. I mean, but you ain't gonna block and slip and pivot at you. You're gonna get hit. Right. And boxing, you are going to get touched. Don't think if anybody I didn't want to get into boxing, just know you're gonna get hit. It's boxing. Right. But you limit the times you get hit. Right, 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 <laughs> right, right. You're gonna feel some shit. Right. The dude, the dude gonna catch you, bro. Gonna catch you at some point. Right. And you gonna catch him. Right, right. You see what I'm saying? That's a chess game. Yep. That's right. Bob. You see what I'm saying? Con, con. If you don't like getting hit, then don't get into the sport. If you don't like getting hit, don't play football. If you wanna be a football player, right. just know you gonna get hit. Right. Full contact sports. If you want to go into UFC, MMA. <laughs> that, well, well, oh, it's a lie. No, go, go. Well, well no, I'm going to say, well, the scriptures say, yeah, how about you know, size is a man of war. You know? So so fighting is a part of our heritage. It, it, it's, it's a part of our spirit. That's why So that's why our people, our people, they all into the, the fight. Right. Con. Boxing, MMA, martial arts, Jake, that's in Jake's spirit to be right. warriors. Right. But now, the, the real battle is the spiritual battle. Yeah, this one right See, here. A physical battle. Right. That's that's another. That's that's in this carnal world. Right. You got a question, bro? Yeah. Answer the man's question. Okay, sir. I was just gonna say that you know it's like the slave trade you know, with the religious organizations and the, and the, and the, the, uh, the shelters that's taking people in. They receive the work opportunity tax credit. They taking you in. Right, and then, and then, and then, and then they get money from the government and from other religious organizations, and it's a tax write-off. It's a tax write-off, so they feed these guys, and then they throw them right back into the streets. If as soon as they make a mistake in their program, they throw them right back here on the streets. I don't know if you brothers know that, that this is going on, but it's a it's one religious organization sending money to another religious organization, and it's all tax write-offs. Yep. And they getting paid off like a slave trade down here. It's all oh, you, that's it's like thirty shelters down here. That's heavy. That's heavy. And they get yeah. paid off these guys right. sleeping on the street. Right. And they and they need these these homeless people. Yeah. Here. Well, God. we were just talking about that. We were just talking we're, about that. We're, we were just talking about you guys. Yeah, no, but, yeah. Yeah, but, but, see, but now it's the water, because hey, the water, it's the water for that bit of information, because now that's something I could pass on 
to other brothers and right. put it out there, put it out there for the education of the congregation. Sir, they get like five grand. I'm glad, I'm glad, I'm, I'm glad. They'll put you to work for $15 an hour and let you The camera right. picked up what he said, right? What's that? The yeah, camera picked up what the brother yeah, said, yeah, right? Done, okay. done. Well, I mean, that's no different than the uh, private prisons. Yes, this, sir. This whole yeah. place is a prison planet. We we all, uh, 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 if a brother want to hold that in uh, Baruch, Hey, hey yeah. we've been made uh, yeah, subject water, to things, man. water for telling us about that. You know? Because now, because now, man, we're going to keep teaching. Because that, all these, look, I live up in Fort Worth, but um, I teach up with the, you know, you know, you know, we got brothers all over. You know, we got a camp up in Dallas, too. Other brothers, our brothers, downtown Dallas, where we teach, you know, me and the brothers up in Dallas, we teach downtown Dallas. It's the same fucking routine. Yeah. Um. I just got back from out of town recently. I was in Indianapolis. Homeless people all through downtown. I, I've been to California, uh, Los Angeles, and fucking the Bay, San, San Francisco. Oh, homeless. Oh, yeah. It's like a goddamn ten cities. Off. Right, bro. I've been all over the goddamn country recently. I was in Nebraska. The same thing. Yep. yep. I was in Iowa. The same shit. Right. Yeah. Fine. Real it's fucking sure. talk, man. That yeah. there's that's a so wicked. They'll take them in and then they'll feed you, but they get money. From other religious organizations and from the state and from the federal government. Wicked. Right. And pay and, and pay and they give you like 30 days. They say, well, if you join our program, right, we'll get we'll get a little bit more money from the feds to get to get y'all get y'all to this program. But that's they say hey, the same people right back see, in the and these church are gonna and, and that's them churches, right? Them churches. Yes, sir. See, them yes, sir. churches are wicked, man. Right. That's yeah. why the Lord, that's why the Heavenly yes, Father. Be bringing judgment on a lot of them black churches, man. Right. All of them. Remember? Right. The Edomite went in there and shot up the church. Yep. The yep. Edomites back in the 60s, they blew up. That's why the black churches be getting judged. Because they wicked. Like, like, oh, man, tell, tell this story. What you told me. How about the nigga, they picked them over and spanked their hands. Oh, yeah. 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 Oh, he was a young man, about seventeen. That. I don't know what he did, but they had four fucking men at this church hold him down while another one pulled his fucking pants down and flipped him, man. Wow. Yeah. Wow. Now, first of all, that sounds like some some mo shit. Yeah, that's right. the first thing he popped him off. That's why I got so fucking pissed. Pulling out another grown man's pants and bending them over. Talking about, yeah, we gonna whoop you. You sin, brother. We gonna whoop you. That's what Jesus is all about. If the dude go, okay. If y'all really the servants of the Lord. If the dude hey, go you. off, I, 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 I'll take hey, hey, right, brother, hey, hey, brother, every Friday. hey, brother, come through, right, man. The, come through. Right. the water, man. Right. The water for that. That was the Lord's right. right. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Right. Right. Yeah. Right. If a dude go off, right, like amongst us, right, amongst us, right. If a brother go off, first thing we do, you know, we chastise him with the scriptures, God. depending on the severity, right, of what it is, yeah. depending on the severity of what a brother's offense is, right. What happened? The elders and officers, they chastise them. Right. Put right. them to the side, like the scriptures say. Right. And you cut them with the scriptures. Look, brother, you went off, you're going off. Right. Look, brother, you was being wicked. That, that, boom. Right. Now, the brother rebelled, and then, you, like the scriptures, then you bring them before the elders. Right. And if you still don't repent, then you kick them out of, or right. you just suspend them. Right. That's another way of chastising somebody. Right. You know, you can suspend the brother. Say, okay, but look, brother, you, the school is coming through. Yeah, yeah. You know, you could, you, uh, you could, you know, you suspend the brother. You know what I'm saying? You say, well, you know what, brother, you suspend it for six months. You suspend it for two weeks. You suspend it, or you know, you take a brother's rank. You know, like as far as chastisement. Right, right. You know, you know, we ain't gonna fucking look, brother, bend over uh, with a paddle. <laughs> okay. You know what I mean? That's, what some, that's some mo shit. That's some wicked shit. You spanked the dude. Are you serious? That's that's wicked. I've never heard that. Yeah, but now he's in prison. Right. Man. The protocol, the, the fucking protocol that the church is pushed don't work, man. Because like he was saying, just dealing with the shelters, what do you think they under, man? Right. All right. They're under the tax exempt status, man. They Ooh, can't yeah, take care of it. It is. Oh, oh. fuck, man. Man, I, I just besides something. in Israel, yeah. that's under that same fucking bracket, man. I, okay, you took the words out of my mouth. Right. I was just getting ready to say it. Right. I'm gonna name names. Right. That General Johanna. Right. He's down with that. Right. Nate is doing it too. Right. And some of them other groups is doing it. I know they are. They got the 501c3. 
remember Johanna, remember he, he remember they got uh ISUPK, they got them them shelters. Right, they right. Feed them niggas, they wicked. Right. That's why they got all them goons that's down with them. A lot yeah. of them guys are ex-cons coming out of prison. They get them guys like, come on, brother. Because yeah. a dude come out of prison, he ain't got no family, he got no yep. other state. Yep. Hey, come here. Hey, brother, I'll give you his a garment. Right. Hey, come on, brother, come to the school. We're going to give you a plate of food. Yeah. Right. And get all put this you information. Up. And they got to get his information, get his social. Yep. Yep. Yeah. 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 This is Ecclesiastes 16 and 1. <laughs> Desire yeah. not a multitude of unprofitable children, neither delight an ungodly son. And that's what these other camps are doing, man. And that's why when he said that, it, that's the first thing popped in my head. That's why they're so big and just welcome on any nigga right. that's, that can put on a shirt and stay in there and con bring it out. That's it. Because they're getting fucking paid for the more men they, they <laughs> yeah. gather in, yeah. but they're unprofitable. They can't teach. Yeah. They're not living the word, man. They don't know what this thing is about, man. Well, first of all, your hunter don't come out to the speaking. He said that to him and that other dude, his top brood. Uh, we don't got to go out there no more. Where's that in the scriptures, man? Look, man, we see in the, the, the young guys out there. We uh, Basically, we graduated. We passed. I want your hunter to show me that scripture. Yeah, the disciples, uh, they came with that. We see you guys out there. Look, we passed that level now. We, we, we the leaders. We can send the cats out. That's what he said. Show me that in the scriptures. I, I brought out the scripture earlier. Blessed is that servant when his Lord cometh, find it him so doing. The hunter sitting up there and the guy, him and the mother, big Shirley looking niggas, they're sitting up in the room sipping Hennessy or whatever, or cognac. Yeah, they're talking shit. And every once in a while they do a video talking shit. Yeah, for three hours. No scriptures come out. Just rant. Right. Sitting there probably sipping on some cognac talking shit. And they're going to order some fried chicken. Yep. Quick, quick reset. <laughs> this is Jeremiah yeah. chapter 5, verse 26. It says, For among my people are found wicked men. Woo. They lay wait as he that said it snares. Well, like the brother said. And that's what your honor and Nate are they doing. The brother, a nigga, or they go get one of these homeless and come here, brother. Come here, brother. Come over to this center, man. Yeah, yeah. here's a garment. Yeah, brother. Here's some food. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, brother. Here. Look, man. Look, brother. No, we're going to put you up. We're going to take care of you. We're going to, you know what I mean? Done. Here's a soda. Right. Right. <laughs> but, <laughs> you know but, 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 uh, but, a spiritual man that, that, that's preaching Yahusha Mashiach. Knows that this word that we casting this word out, and your how about Shimei is going to bring in whoever he so desires. Yeah, he it's this right, and it, it's not going to be through enticements. Yeah. yeah, we ain't doing that, look, man. We ain't out here to feed the homeless. Okay, we not. Right, God. Our only job is to teach this word. We feeding them with the word. That's right. It. right. That's now, every it. once in a while, okay, like I know up in Dallas, some of the, the ones that's cool. Right. Man, a couple of homeless dudes might come. If you come right. humble, right, of course, we'll be brotherly to you. Hey, brothers, you know, right. Right. It's hot. Right. You know, sometimes we'll pass our waters to, mm -hmm. if they come right. Come, come, come. Or if a jet come up right, and hey, man, you know the spirit might be on, be on us to show a little charity, you know. Yeah. Like if a jet, but you, if, if a jet come humble and right. If a jet came up, like, hey, brothers, you know, you know, brothers, man, brothers. Right, hey, man, I'm just trying to get some to eat. I think right. spare a couple. And then the spirit might, you know, because sometimes, you know, we show charity. Right, yeah. right. You know? They tell me you're trying to get a fucking beer. I'll give you a few. I, I, I'm the same right. way. Straight up. Yeah, man. I respect that. Because, look, I'm a drinker. I like to sit. So, I know what it's like. I know what it's like. I've been there before. I know what it's like to, you want to drink, but you ain't got no good there. Right, right. I'm like, damn, I'm a fucking drink. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Right. Or something, right? Right. right? So I know what it's like, man. So if a dude come up and say, hey, brother, listen, man, I'm just trying to get a fucking drink. Right. I'll buy him a bottle, man. Yeah, like, uh, okay, but my brother, I'm like, yeah, man. Right. But we, what you drinking? What right. you drinking? Boom, I'll get him a bottle. I would, I would do that. Right. But you know what I mean? But we're not using that 
as a means to, to bring them into the camp. Good. You know, right. and that's that's what these other uh you know whack ass you know is a whole group do. I mean, yeah, yeah, you can't get a whole you come in the camp. You hey, come, come here, you don't, get a don't, job with a woman. Yeah, really? Yeah, yeah, but get something to eat. You know what I'm I mean? I'm going to finish this precept real quick. It's in back of Jeremiah 5 and 26. For among my people of proud wicked men, they lay wait as he that set it snares. They set a trap. They catch men. That's what they're doing. They're just trying to lure dudes in there for their real, for profit. That's it. And numbers. Done. You know what I mean? That's it. That's what they're doing. You got it, Archie. You finished that oh, up? Oh, so like, so like. No, you know, you got it. What's going to be with that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes, because so 16 and 1. Desire not a multitude of unprofitable children. Thank you. You can get a, okay, world-friendly Israelites. So, them dudes, that's why That's why their doctrine is what it is. IUIC, right. uh, uh, ISUPK, uh, among others. That's why they all world friendly. Right. They are the, the women. Oh man, you gotta gotta have the women, the women up in there. Right. They're not holy. They having uh, cookouts and barbecues. You know, your honor, come to the house. UPK <laughs> cookout. We having that annual cookout. Everybody's welcome. Serve <laughs> pork. Uh, 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 the Passover. They allow everybody to come to their Passover. Right. The Passover's home. General, your honor. Bring your family, bring your uncles, and bring, come on. All Israel's welcome. Pay them $200. Right. And then yeah. $200 store to get. You know what I mean? Anybody can come to the Passover. Nah, man, the Passover is only for, what did the scripture say? Uh, Whoso eateth unworthily, eateth damnation unto his son. Right. Right. Yeah, you had guys doing that back in the day. The Passover, like it was a big banquet, a annual lamb dinner bank. Yeah, dudes bringing their. Uh, the niggas that wasn't even in the truth, their uncles and right, aunties, right, inviting them to the Passover. Right. Back in one west, we had certain guys doing that, inviting their uncle, Uncle Joe, and Aunt Sally to the Passover. They had no business. Apostle Charles was always, he said, nah, man, you got you get straight up <laughs> niggas right. in the Passover. Right, right. That's yeah. another snare. Yeah, who they have Wu Tang Clan at one of our Passovers on the stage rapping and giving a speech. Wow. See, but that's how fucked up shit had got back then. Now you see why all the splits took place. Right. Yeah. Right. Wu-Tang Clan, them niggas. Yeah, that's that's no different than what uh Constantine did, you know, and even these pagan holidays, you know, try, trying to merge the world with, with, at the time, you know, religion or, you know, uh, uh, entice people yeah. through, through the worldly ways. Con. You know? Con. Con. Exactly, exactly. Con. Yep. Con. Yeah, Go ahead. Con. Ecclesiastes 16 and 1 desired not a multitude of unprofitable children. Unprofitable children, a bunch of niggas. Right. Like some of these other camps got. A bunch of grimy niggas. When you see them, they're the spirit of gummy on that. Look at them guys. We, uh, we niggas. We worship a nigger God. Right. They're straight out niggas. That's all they are. Just a bunch of goons with Israelite paraphernalia on, man. Right. You know what I mean? Unpro those are unprofitable niggas. Who they gonna teach? Right. Who are they gonna really edify? You know what I mean? Neither, neither delight in ungodly son. That be some spirits. That be some spirits. Verse two. Though they multiply, rejoice not in them, except for the fear of the Lord. That's what happens, man. When people saw five hundred uh, purple garments. Marching down the street, they praised that shit, man. Right. When the niggas was out there outside of the uh, whatever what was that Barclays Center, all right, uh, for Kyrie Irving, and of course, if I was him, I wouldn't have gave you niggas no reverence either. Y'all fucking my uh, fucking it up with me, man. Okay. Hey, man. Hey, man. The world delighted in that shit, hey, man. So See? when they hear Israel, they saw purple garments in their mind. See that's right. a nigga. See, that, I know, I know, fuck that young. See, the black woman got a lot of fucking. Shit to pay for, bro. So now you're off to some these little niggas that are mentally, emotionally disturbed. Little bastards, man. Mentally, emotionally. You probably homeless. What the fuck is all that? Like, yeah, that's that thought of it. For attention. Right. Now see if a cop, now see, but then if a cop would have rolled up on him and fuck his shit up and throw him on the ground, put his knee, oh, oh, right. okay. Right. But these niggas behavior, right? right? 
Right. They can just behave any fucking way they want to behave. Right. Unruly, mentally, emotionally disturbed little niggas. That, that's because of the black woman. Right. That's right. And these fucking black bitches walk around here with no fucking accountability. They didn't cause nothing. But no, but now, even on the internet, even on social media, it's turning around now, though. Everybody's right. getting at these black women. Everybody. Right. right. It's done. Yeah. It's done upon them. Even some of these little young dudes, they, the, Lord, the Lord is tweaking it, and they think, yeah, you know, right. my mother was a piece of shit. You, you black woman, you, you know? Right. So now that fucking bitch is being backed against the wall. Right. She's being backed against that fucking wall right now. She's the cause of a lot. Esau and the black woman. Those are the two problems of the earth right now. Thank you. Yep, that's them. They're about to lose the title. They're about to lose the title, though. Okay, finish that out. Ecclesiastes 16 and 2. Though they multiply, rejoice not in them, except the fear of the Lord be with them. Trust not thou in their life, neither respect their multitude. Yeah, numbers. See, quality, not quantity, not uh, yeah, quality, saying, right? yeah, quality, quality, not quantity. quantity. Yep, that's it. Right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We want this army. We want this army over here. But half of them, the majority of them are fucks. You know what I mean? Fuck boys. If you deal with manufacturing and you just sit there and you pump out a whole bunch of product and shitty product, when they get the inspection, they're going to toss all that out. This ain't no right. good. This ain't no good. Yeah. Right. Oh, yeah. That's right. Huh? See us, man, we deal with uh, quality through the grace of Yahweh Bach and Yahweh Shah. That's why they're not how it is. Apart from the apostle, apostle to on down, we have no problem kicking dudes out. We have no problem giving motherfuckers. We have no problem giving motherfuckers they walking papers. You know what I mean? Because we don't want a bunch of wicked niggas just hanging around, man. Okay? If you ain't, man, if you ain't right, man, you you gonna get you, you, you gonna get you you your walking papers, okay? We we dealing with brothers that are sincere, quality, okay? And we are like, you know, not just gonna let any nigga in there, right? You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, come on, uh, yeah, here's a garment. You in the camp? <laughs> you know what I mean? Right. Nah, man, you you gotta go to the gauntlet. Right. right. You gotta put me into the gauntlet. Look at that, brothers. God. 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 It ain't like these other camps. They, they, anybody, they like the Christian church, man. Come if you are. Just everybody come yeah. the fuck on and be an Israelite. Yep. No. The Heavenly Father is looking for quality, that, that good, that pure gold, man. Yeah. And women, you don't see no women amongst us. No. Right? And we ain't no goddamn moles. Right. We got women. We got women. Brothers right. got women. But our women are where they belong. Because. Brothers' wives are y'all y'all women are where they belong. Right. At home somewhere right. off right. the side. Right. Like a puzzle to her said, your woman, that's your personal thing on the side. We were talking about that in the car too, right? Your woman is your personal thing on the side. Okay, there ain't no sisters out here amongst us. Okay, we ain't got the women sitting at the picnic table. Right. Picnic chairs. And the sisters, the sisters are sitting there. Right. You know what I'm saying? These are the emotionally, mentally yep. disturbed little niggas. Yep. That's the black woman. That's the yep. black woman. That's her That's her creation. Yep. That's right. Yep. These big Shirley's and Keisha's, that's their, that, that right there. You see? The, being loud, attention, yep. emotionally, mentally disturbed. Yep. You see what I'm saying? Yep. You see that? Yep. That right there is her, right. her creation. God. Right there. Well, right. Go ahead, man. Go ahead. Go ahead. Yep. Ecclesiastes 16 oh, and 3. Attention. Trust not in their life, neither respect their multitude. Hey, man, For one that is better. Okay. We're teaching here. Trust not respect. It's just in yeah, a yeah. house. Move, move on. Move on, bro. And better is to die. Without children, that you have them that are on God. Ecclesiastes 16 and 3. Man. Trust not Boy. in their life, Boy, neither respect their multitude. For one you, that is just 
It's better than a thousand. Read that one again. One, one skip. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Read that again. Power. Yeah. For one, that is just. just. It's better than a thousand. What? That is just. It's better than a thousand, man. That's what this is about. We focus on the elect, man. Right. All right, I'm trying to stay spiritual. Don't matter if a nigga got a crazy. Trying to push my Don't buttons. Don't matter if a nigga put on a garment, man. I'm the not. scripture above, above said what? And let the fear of the most high go with you, man. It's not going to end well. That's it. You can finish it up. And it is better. It's not going to end well. And it better it is to die without children than to have them that are ungodly. Hey, how many kids I got? Cause nigga, I know this world ugly, bro. And, and you know, and, hey, hey, through the spirit, that that's the reason why the you know, Almighty Shemam has the Absolutely. prophets out here, man. You know, because because we through the spirit, you know, are, are those ones, you know, those elect, you know. It's 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 not about a whole bunch, you know. It's about those that are righteous, those that are repenting, okay, those, those that are that are coming back to the law, statutes, and commandments. To the best of their ability. To catch so, case, um, with that being said, with that being said, is there anything else any other brother had? Hey, and through the spirit, uh, Lord will. Uh, this lesson was edifying for the elect. What? Uh, and with that being said, we like to give all praise, honor, and glory unto Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh, Shad, Ba'ashem, Kakwadash. Give honors to the apostles, the bishops, and elders of Great Millstone, who rule and teach well, and peace and salutation unto the elect. Until next time, Shalom. Shalom.